particularly some of their fans, to use and abuse. Celebrities often make that choice because they may feel that they can more easily use the power of their celebrity to seduce and manipulate fans who admire or idolize them. They may also count on the fear that many women have of speaking out against a celebrity. Sometimes celebrities also believe that nobody will believe the word of a woman who is not a celebrity over the denial of the celebrity. Effie has been making very serious allegations against Mr. Hammer. It has been extremely traumatic and triggering for her to speak about what she alleges has happened to her. Despite the emotional price that she's had to pay by speaking her truth, she has found the courage to discuss what she alleges has happened to her for two reasons. First, she wants to warn other women who may come into contact with Mr. Hammer of possible risks in their relationship with him. Second, Effie has been contacted by many others who allege that they have also been victimized by Mr. Hammer in the sexual relationship that they have had with him. Many who have contacted Effie still have not found the support and courage to overcome their fear of him and have therefore remained silent and out of public view. For that reason, Effie feels that she must do what she can to continue to speak on this issue. Effie does have evidence which she believes supports her serious allegations. She has provided her evidence to law enforcement and she encourages others to also provide evidence to them if they believe that their evidence might assist in an investigation of Mr. Hammer. We do think that it is important that an investigation of these serious allegations is conducted. We look forward to learning if Mr. Hammer, rather than his representatives, will be willing to assist investigators in their search for the truth. And now uh, I will be happy to introduce Effie. Effie. I met Army Hammer on Facebook in 2016 when I was 20 years old. I fell in love with him instantly. The relationship progressed rapidly and the emotions from both sides became really intense. Looking back, it is now clear to me he was employing manipulation tactics in order to exert control over me until I started to lose myself. He would often test my devotion to him, slightly removing and crossing my boundaries as he became increasingly more violent. He abused me mentally, emotionally, and sexually. <laughs> On April 24th, 2017, Army Hammer violently raped me for over four hours in Los Angeles, during which he repeatedly slapped my head against a wall, bruising my face. He also committed other acts of violence against me to which I did not consent. For example, he beat my feet with a crop so they would hurt whatever step I took for the next week. During those four hours, I tried to get away, but he wouldn't let me. I thought that he was going to kill me. He then left with no concern for my well-being. I was completely in shock. And I couldn't believe this, what I loved, did that to me. I tried so hard to justify his actions, even to the point of responding to him in a way that did not reflect my true feelings. During and since this attack, I have lived in fear of him. And for a long time, I tried to dismiss his actions towards me as a twisted form of love. Now that he no longer has any power over me, I have come to understand that the immense mental hold he held over me was incredibly damaging on many levels. His abuse traumatized me to the point where for months I wasn't able to stop crying. I couldn't sleep or I'd have night terrors. I was constantly emotionally distressed and I lost interest in living. I couldn't comprehend and overcome what he had done to me. 
Over the years since the assault, on many occasions, the invasive flashbacks were so exc excruciating that they made me feel there was no way out but to take my own life. I just wanted the pain to stop. <laughs> my hope in speaking out about the abuse I endured at the hands of Army Hammer is that he will be held accountable. I feel immense guilt for not speaking out sooner because I feel that I might have been able to save others from becoming victims. By speaking out today, I hope to prevent others from falling victim to him in the future. I want other survivors of sexual assaults around the world to feel empowered and know that they are heard, believed, understood, and loved. Thank you, Effie. Thank you very much. And we'll be showing a photo now of Army Hammer and Effie together. Thank you. And we are now going to take questions, or at least I'll take some questions. So um, if you want to just uh, hit the Q&A, type in your question, I will read the question, uh, if there are any. And uh, then I will attempt to answer the question. Uh, the first question is, uh, if you can have the spelling of her name, uh, and uh, it's just E-F-F-I-E -F -F -E for now. We're not providing her full legal name. Uh, next question is, are there photos of Effie after the abuse? Uh, I'll just say that we are providing all of uh, our evidence to law enforcement. Uh, next question is, will Effie be sharing her full name or does she prefer to only be known by her first name? Uh, she would appreciate just being known as Effie at this time. Uh, the next question is, does Effie plan to press charges against Army Hammer? Uh, and the answer is, Uh, Effie is providing uh, what she thinks might be relevant to law enforcement and then it is for law enforcement and the prosecutor to decide if there is sufficient evidence uh, to pursue it. But uh, I will only say that Effie has the courage, you know, to uh, cooperate in any investigation that may be taking place. Next question is, did she file a police report? Uh, we're not commenting on that at this time. But thank you for the question. Uh, the next question is, how did Effie and Harmony meet? Uh, first contact was on Facebook. Next question is, will you, will you be filing a lawsuit? We have no plans to do that at this time. Next question is, are you reporting this to LAPD? Uh, we are cooperating with law enforcement. Uh, how old was Effie when the incident occurred? How old is she now? She was 20 when she met him and she's 24 now. Um, 
when was her last interaction with Army? And the answer is in 2020. When we say interaction, I'm including any communications that might have been electronic. Next question is, did Effie attempt suicide and is she still suffering mentally? <clears throat> I will respond by <coughs> referring you to her statement. Uh, I think you can see by viewing her on the screen how this is impacting on her. You can probably only see a little bit of how it's impacting her, but I know that that the harm to her has been significant emotionally. And I won't discuss whether it has been significant to her physically. Uh, then uh, I think the next question is, at the time, did she report? I don't have any comment on that. I also don't have any comment on the question of which law enforcement agency did you report this to, the LAPD? Sorry, I have no comment on that. Uh, also the question, has Effie filed or does she plan to file a civil complaint against Army Hammer? As I said, we have no plan or intention to do that at this time. Um, then uh, I don't also have a comment on what year was the attack that Effie described. Uh, there's another question. Uh, has anyone from Mr. Hammer's side, I can't see the rest of it, uh, contacted Effie since the initial allegations. Uh, I don't have any comment on that, but they can always feel free to contact me now that it's clear to them that I represent her, if they wish. Um, next question is, did Effie confide in anyone at the time of the incident? All these questions have to do with uh, evidence and, you know, these are questions that if law enforcement has a question about and would like to ask any of these questions, Effie's certainly willing to answer them. But uh, she's not uh, willing to answer them today. Uh, were there, the next question is, were there other venues or locations where incidents occurred outside of California? We have no comment in answer to that question, but the incident that Effie described, she alleges took place in Los Angeles. Um, the next question is, did the attack fall within the statute of limitations? Uh, I'm going to make just an educated guess that we're talking about the criminal statute of limitations. That is, that, is that uh, that's the question. And so uh, the answer would be yes. Uh, Next question is, when did she end her relationship with Mr. Hammer? Uh, the relationship no longer exists. It was at an end for any communication in 2020. Uh, next question is, did Effie know if Army was meeting with other women while they were in a relationship? We have no comment on that. Uh, the next question is, did her injuries require medical services? Uh, I have no comment in answer to that, except to say, 
there are photos of some of her visible injuries. Uh, next question is, can, can you say where the assault took place? Hotel or private residence? Uh, I'll just say it was not a hotel. And um, the question is, would we be dealing with LAPD, Beverly Hills Police or Sheriff? And I'll just say it would be in the jurisdiction of the LAPD. Next question is, is, is Effie behind the House of Effie social media account that first surfaced claims against Hammer? Uh, I have no comment on that. I think that's all the questions, unless anyone has any more. Let's see. Oh, uh, the next question is, have police opened an investigation? Uh, with all due respect, I think that LAPD would be the best ones to answer that question if they choose to answer that question. Uh, Next question is, when the alleged rape took place, was she visiting from Europe just to see him? Was she alone? Did he know she was alone? I have no comment on that, except to say that she, it took place, what she alleges took place, took place in Los Angeles. Uh, regarding the photo that we shared, question is, when was the photo taken? It was taken prior to the incident that she alleges. Question is, have you already turned over evidence to law enforcement? We have turned over evidence to law enforcement. Where does she live now? The answer is in Europe. Uh, what is Effie's profession? We don't have any comment on that at this time. Thank you for the question. Uh, the next question is, did Army Hammer discuss his marriage to Elizabeth Chambers at all with Effie during the times they were together? I will leave that to Army Hammer to answer if he wishes to answer that question. I will just say that I know that Effie's heart goes out to Elizabeth. Chambers. And are there any other questions? Uh, let's see. I think that's what we have for today. And uh, we thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, as I indicated, we will uh, be sending further information to everyone who has registered for the press conference, and there will be no need to uh, ask us for anything because we will automatically send uh, our statements, the photo, and the recording to everyone, and that will happen within the next hour. So thank you very much. Uh, we appreciate you're not contacting FE directly. If you have uh, communication uh, information for her, uh, please do not contact her. Uh, contact me instead. We would very much appreciate that because we want to take that burden off of Effie. So thanks everybody for coming.
Stay safe. Bye-bye.